When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me If the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountains shall crumble to the sea, I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. Should 
tumble and fall O'er the mountains Shall crumble to the sea I won't cry I won't cry No, I won't Shed a tear Just as long As you stand Stand by me So Jesus, Jesus I 
won't cry, no I won't shed a tear Just as long as you stand, stand by me So Jesus, Jesus stand by me Oh Jesus stand by me Yes he stands now Stand by me, stand by me The way this man of God was preaching, and uh, you can see how many souls that have been won through the message that the man of God really preached. The message is actually reviving the church of this generation, and I'm very, very sure that from this moment on, there is going to be a real revolution in the church of God in this area. He preaches the truth, he preaches the Bible, and he speaks and he behaves the belief. And from that, I can see the truth sets everybody free. The preaching was extraordinary. You know, the preaching has taken another dimension that God is catching his own fishes through that preaching. Of a young man who met an old wise man. The old wise man was so wise. He was going from every village to every village. Giving good advice. Anything the old man said. Always it happened. It happened. It happened. It was always true. The old man was always right. So one day. There was a young man who a little boy he looked at the old man and said it cannot be possible that the old man is always right i am going to show the old man that he is not always right hey. So he decided to do something. He said, I'm going to catch a butterfly. Laba -laba. And I'm going to put a butterfly in my hand. Alive. Then I will see the old man. And I will say, old man. The laba laba in my hand. Is it alive or is it dead? If the old man says it is alive, I will squeeze my hand and open to him, and you see that he's dead. If the old man says it is dead, I will open my hand and it will fly away. And I'll say, Old man, you see you are wrong for the first time. So he went and caught the butterfly. And he came to the old man. And he put a butterfly in his hand. And he said, old man. I have a laba, -laba in my hand. Hey, hey. Is it dead? Or is it alive? And the old man was looking at him. And the old man gave him an answer. Do you want to know what the old man said? I said, do you want to know what the old man said? The old man said, it depends upon you. 
It depends on you. Dead or alive. It depends on you. Dead or alive. It depends on you. On what you do. And today, God is telling you. Dead or alive. It depends on you. Heaven or hell. Whether you go to heaven or hell. It depends on you. It depends on what you do. Will you go to hell? Or will you go to heaven? It depends on you. Will you see Jesus? Or will you see the devil? It depends on you. Lift your hands and say it depends on me. It depends on me. God has done what he's going to do. God has done what he's going to do. But tonight, you have to build your house on a rock. It depends on you. Most importantly, the minister's conference. The, uh, the teaching of the man of God. Simple, effective, and powerful. The way he tutored us, the way he lectured us, the way he ministered. Very simple to an average pastor is a blessing. And I want to pray that the Lord will bless him for us. And uh, what we have learned, it will be in us. We are trusting God that after this conference, we will take it to use and our churches will not remain this. My own church where I pastor, I'm sure taking on what he has taught us, uh, I'm expecting a better result by the grace of God. And this for other ministers here in Ofa and all the Evaros by the grace of God. And also the book he gave, uh, he gave to us, wonderful. I was looking at those books yesterday night and my mind was just praying for him. He has given us the best gift. I don't think there is other gift that can be valued the, than the book he gave to all of us yesterday. The four, the four books, wonderful. It's good for every pastor. I've been a theologian, a little theologian, looking at the basic theology. I look at it yesterday night and I know it's a blessing to me. God bless the man of God. A certain lady. She used to make granite and chips for me. Oh man, she ekpa for me. Very nice. Oh daga. After church, they will bring that granite and chips. Let me see. Oh wa mu ekpa ati idiodo yi. One day, lo jokan. There was no granite and chips. Ko wa se ekpa ati idodo. So I said, where is the granite and chips? Bo wa ni ekpa ati idodo yen da. I asked my wife. Bo wa bi ya o mi. And they told me that the lady who makes granite and chips has left the church. So I said, where has she left? He said, she said that there is no husband for her in our oh, church. So she is going own. to another church, oh, which is bigger, own. where she may find a husband. Since that day, I have not eaten that granite and chips. <laughs> But when you have a mega church, your members will not leave you to go and find uh, somebody to marry. If you want short ones, we have some. If you like a tall one, we have some. If you like fair, very fair, light skin like me you can have some if you like a fat oboshi one like that a robot a only a mega church you can see a robot and everybody getting married